Welcome to Map TV. Please do subscribe to our channel for more videos. Click on the bell button for notification. Hi, you're welcome, great people of the world. This is Mob TV, and my name is Donald. Today, I have something very brilliant to bring to your doorstep, and I've always promised to always get you on the go and informed about things that are going on with a lot of issues that are happening in Nigeria. First of all, I want to bring you good tidings from Mob TV. I know you are doing great. Just be the best you can. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So once you post a video, you'll be the first to get notified. If you have subscribed already, thank you so much for being part of us. We really do appreciate you being part of our family. Yes, it's about the ongoing allegation between Pastor Biodum Fatuyimbo and um, Busola Dako. But first of all, let me make you, let me take a little bit, defect a little bit. It's about um, our mock area that is uh, the former media aide to President Gulag Jonathan, um, that is Omokere Reno. You know, he came, he tweeted on Instagram that um, I just want to like to remind you that, that you should not give any girl that is using a phone that is better than your phone money <laughs> i don't think this man wants all these liquids to stone him to death look he said uh, that given that these girls are using these phones if they use better phone it's about funding their luxury that if you're giving money to somebody who is using a phone that is better than your own phone that you are not doing charity as it were that you're now funding luxury which is stupidity so he's calling out on the man to stop giving girls money if you look at the girl and her phone is far much better than your own phone do not give her money he says stop sponsoring fake life <laughs> stop stop sponsoring fake lifestyle yeah i just wanted to tell you that it got me cracking so i decided to share with my family people okay but then on the allegation can that the christian association of nigeria had come out the president, the national body, as um, Samuel, had given a very, very brilliant press release, and I thought I should convey that to you. He said that um, it has been brought to his notice about the ongoing, like he's always known, but he is trying to say this to pacify the whole situation furthermore, that he still reiterated that he does not have the right or jur jurisdictions to go into individual churches and the meddling the affairs that he deals with the church as a block the christianity against the muslim christianity against politics against judaism buddhism you know zerostianism any religion didn't then can come as a full body but they have directed the Pentecostal fellowship of nigeria to Get involved and that the panel of three man panel i think i've said it before has been constituted to look into the matter and he said he's giving particular fellowship of nigeria only but 14 days that's two weeks to be able to submit their report that the both parties involved that is pastor building fat Oimbo and um, busola timi dakolo they have been invited by this body of this panel for further interrogation and investigation so that they are going to come up with a report in two weeks time that the general public should be aware with them and understand how these things go like they will come up with something in two weeks time and um, they will not cover anything from the public once it comes about that they will make it known publicly what the resolutions are but he still said something very striking he said that they do not support any form of immorality in the church and he said in his word that he does not think there is any church in nigeria that's actually preaching immorality no there is no church in Nigeria doing that, no pulpit doing that. They cannot condemn unless they have reasons to condemn, which means he cannot come up to say that Busola is right or wrong, uh, Pastor Bjordan is right or wrong, unless what they're doing right now is being done properly. That's the investigation process to be able to know how it is on the both sides of it. So this is what he said about the ongoing investigation. If you have whatever you want to say, put, please put that on the comment section below. Whatever you think, if you think he's actually taking the right steps or wrong step, please Tell us and about the people that visited. So it is now glaring that the can as a body does not meddle into um, church as individual. Like the can, that's the two men that went to the chairman, Khan chapter Abuja, and the chairman, not central, shouldn't have gone to Pastor Bjorn's church because it's not within the jurisdiction of Khan, Christian Association of Nigeria, to meddle in individual churches. Like it is the 
the, 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 it is within the powers and the jurisdiction of Vertical State Financial of Nigeria to be able to carry out such um, interrogations. So now the right quarters are actually into the investigation. Whatever you think about this ongoing, let us know and um, we we'll always appreciate your comment. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that once we post the video, you'll be the first to get notified. And secondly, yes, he went further to say, that's um, the president, Samuel, went further to say that nobody hates Fulani heads, man. Rather, nobody hits the Fulani. He said, right before this time around, that um, nobody actually hits the Fulani. The Fulani people carried their cows and grazed wherever they wanted to graze, lived in different forms of communities, and even got married with different people, like in the East, West, and the North, you know, South, anywhere they find themselves, they graze, and they, at most points, they even intermarry with these people, and they've been living in peace. And nobody has ever shown hatred to them until they started violent. They started killing innocent people. So when people started getting killed by them, now the hatred brewed. So he said that these people should be called to order, that they should, nobody has made them an enemy by just mere sentiments, but it's because of the violence that is associated with a few of them. So he said a few elements in the Fulani tribe have started killing people, so by so doing they've made enemy of themselves, not the people actually make, making them or declaring them open enemies. But because nobody will be alive or want to see his or her loved one being killed just in the name of you're being a Fulani or being a headsman. So he said call them to order, let them stop this, that it's never been, just like my line of arguments in the last time when I made a very logical submission to you people, that nobody actually we have always coexisted for a long time and together as one country as somebody so this thing that is coming up right now is not because nobody it somebody actually hates the felony no it is because there is a violence attached or yeah associated with this particular set of people and some elements you know always the bad eggs in in if you have if you're making an omelet and you you have 10 eggs Nine good eggs, one spoiled egg. One spoiled egg definitely will spoil the nine good eggs. So you don't blame anybody. People are actually dying for real. And when people are dying like this, people are bound to comment and say, no, 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 we can't be watching our loved ones die every day. So you don't have to blame any part of the country that is frowning at the grazing. And, uh, you know, there are videos of people expelling and chasing cows from their community. It is for their lives. They are now scared. So you should be able to also understand that. From time immemorial, when these people have been grazing in the eastern part of Nigeria, western part of Nigeria, northern part of Nigeria, every part of Nigeria, nobody has ever told them, get out from our community, until death started being associated with them, until they started carrying, going around with AK-47s. Nobody actually, AK-47 rifle, nobody actually told them to stop. So what do you think, whatever you think, just put down in the comment section below, and I am here to always bring it to you as it is. Beautiful and spicy my name is donald and do not go nowhere hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so once we put a video you get alerted and bye for now